backdrop in Boulder, Colorado, and if you're looking for the Buffaloes, they ain't hard to find. And boy, do we have a fun one ahead. Top 10 team, target on their back, going on their road and right into the snake pit. As we'll see the number one team in the country, the Florida State Seminoles, taking on a team from the Big 12, the Colorado Buffaloes. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. The Buffaloes will put total leather and will get started. He'll bring it out. It's Hill. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. The Seminoles will have some work to do after that short return. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams, regardless of which side of the ball. Hit the afterburners, kid! And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. What an impact from that last explosive play. They were pinned down in their own territory, now first and ten from their own 45. From the gun, running back gets the gift. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Sometimes people say, if you're good enough, what's the big deal about going on the road? Well, if you're not careful, you might find out in a spot like this one, guys. Yeah, no doubt about it. This is a hostile environment, and you know you're going to be getting the opponent's A game for this one. They've circled this one all offseason, so they better be ready to bring it today, David. And the hardest thing to do in college football is to go on the road. Everything about it changes. And you want to shut this crowd up early, you don't want to give them belief because if it starts to build throughout the game, look out. Using the quick game. Knocked down at the 25-yard line. Picked up 10 there and gets a first down. The Seminoles come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Grabbed in the backfield. It's green. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. This drive facing a little adversity on second and 11. He's looking to throw, using the back as a receiver on the screen. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. And the Knowles look to do some damage in the red zone. They're going to go to the air on third and short. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete and fourth down's cut. They'll have to settle for a field goal attempt. And it's no good. And the score will stay right where it is after that miss. You can't miss opportunities like that. You're playing on the road in a hostile environment. You're trying to seize momentum right out of the gate. You get a nice drive to start the game. And then you miss the field goal. You don't get any points to show for that. If they're going to win this one, guys, they've got to take advantage of those types of opportunities. Looking for a productive play on first down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside gift. Now they've got even more breathing room out to the 31 and a fresh set of downs. And the Buffaloes want to move quickly. To the air on first down. Got his man quickly. He gets those chains moving, gets it out to the 42-yard line. They've come out with answers on this possession, and now another first down. Used the play fake, now to throw. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. On the Second down now after the sack. He's looking to throw. They've got the screen set up. On the nasty move, and now he's got room. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. A third and long coming up here. 
There's a lot of different ways this offense can attack you throwing the ball. One of them is getting the running back going. And the screen is a great way to get him lathered up and get the defense starting to think about him a little bit more now. And the Buffaloes send out the punt unit. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. Gets the first one of the day out of there. He ought to be fresh. They only used him twice in that victory last week. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails. Drive the ball down the field and miss the field goal, David. You know, off he goes. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. After that big gainer to open things up, they'll put it in play from the 40. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Back to pass. It's Croman Hope. Flushed out of the pocket. The throw. And that's not the way they drew it up. It's incomplete. Give a lot of credit to defense on this one. They were able to generate a pass rush, force the quarterback to move off of his spot, and that definitely affected his accuracy. That's a big reason why that throw was incomplete. Catch in the middle is Williams. And he's going to be just short of the first down. It's going to bring up a decision for this coach. The Knowles will call on their punt team. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. And it's a, it's a great punt. Obviously, he gives himself time to let his guys get down the field, get in position. Remember, don't let that thing cross the goal line. Try to keep it inside the 10. Nice job down in the football, setting your defense up for great field position. Well, just nothing doing on that last run. And they knew coming into this one they were going to be challenged, right? This is one of the best defenses. And that pass is intercepted. Touchdown, Seminoles. The defense put six on the board with a big-time interception return. And stop it. How about back-to-back -back weeks with pick sixes. This guy is now making plays, not just for his defense, he's scoring points, and I promise you the locker room is a lot of fun. Mr. Pick Six, he's gonna get a lot of congratulations and a lot of accolades this week. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. He leaves it with his back. Works ahead for a couple. They'll stop him at the 27. The Buffaloes racing to the line in the hurry up. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. And how about the inside linebacker flying through there? You see those guys come up, and you see how fast they can come up and fit the run. But how about blitzing the quarterback, getting to the quarterback? And he's feeling the heat, and he will go down. Final play of the first quarter, and not the way he wanted to end it. That's the end of the quarter, and Florida State has the lead. And after that first quarter, let's see if these guys can get back in the game in the second. And the Buffaloes will try to pin them back with the punt. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. Leaves it with the running back. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Seminoles have always been known for explosive, flashy, big plays. But think of guys like Dalvin Cook and the toughness that he ran with. That's on display here. And then those guys that I think of, too, with work done work, you hand them the football and big plays can happen. And offenses have been built around that for years at Florida State, finding that guy to hand the ball to. And the Seminoles with the first and ten. 
Refused to play fake. Now to throw. Quarterback adapting. Fires to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, no. Look, it's still early, but we have some real distance being put on the scoreboard right now. You do. It's early, but you got to find something positive. Right now, everything going in the other direction. So how are you going to respond when you've been hitting the mouth early in this football game? Got to find something positive quick. On to attempt the try. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Guys, let's recap that ranked-on-ranked -ranked matchup that has just gone final. Georgia somehow, some way, found an edge between the hedges and picked up a much-needed victory. It wasn't a masterpiece, but let's be honest, it wasn't a loss either. Each week in college football, the tests are just so tough. And we found that out again today, guys, with another ranked team going down. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. Caught behind the line. It's Miller. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free, and fourth down is coming up. And the Buffaloes will bring the punt team onto the field. Three and out, and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. He only needs a sliver of daylight. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. Power football with the run. He make the stop at the 33, but 10 yards on that play and a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down. He's got the tight end. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Line getting set on second down. Making sure they have good balance, keeping it on the ground. He gets it across the 25 to the 24, giving five on the carry. This third down play more than manageable from the 24. Can the defense stand tall? And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. Third two, trying to be physical, trying to win the battle up front. Almost there, Palmer, just short, fourth and inches. Yeah, and he was so disappointed he didn't pick up that first. He's looking over at the sidelines right now, asking for the ball again here on fourth. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. They've stumbled a little bit out of the gate here, Jesse, finding themselves down by two scores. Yeah, and their defense needs to help them out and get off the field and get them some more possessions. The offense didn't spend a lot of time on the field in the first quarter, David. I think they got to run the ball here and try to establish some room. they got to establish something, and you're right. You'll wear your defense out, continue. You keep getting the football back to them, to the other offense, you're wearing your defense out, and you'll have no shot to get back in this game. They'll run it from the gun. Makes his man miss. Good, solid run on that one as he gets it up to the 33-yard line. Off the RPO, quick throw to the right. Slammed to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. Looking to go up top on first down. It's caught downfield. Gets it to the 46-yard line. First down for this offense. He's looking to throw it. They're bringing heat. Catch in the middle. It's Hayden. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. And this is what's going to drive coaches crazy. It's mental errors, right? It doesn't take any talent or lack of talent to have that penalty. You just got to watch the ball, and when it's snapped, get after the quarterback. 
can hang on, and he'll tell you he really should have made that catch, and he had an opportunity right in the middle. It'll be second down. They're going to throw it again. Looking left. It's complete. And he's still on his feet, but finally out of bounds after the big run for this offense. And here's the chance to cut into that lead before halftime. First and goal. He wants to throw it. He's got it. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. And after that strong play on first down, they're right on the cusp of a score. Second and goal. They're trying to slam it in. And will cruise into the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo! Yeah, that's a nice drive, a nice physicality. Punching it in with the run game. And here's the thing. I like where this offense is going. Nice job creating some momentum. Going into the half, cutting down the lead. This thing could get really exciting. Nice job answering the bell right before the half. And after the extra point, they've cut the lead in half, down 14-7. They took it 71 yards down the field. And they finish it off with a short plunge into the end zone. Bringing it out. Still on his feet. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. They'll run the screen. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. They'll throw it on first down. A little screen to the running back. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Scanning the field, it's Croman Hope. Get it out on the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Comes out throwing on first down. Safe completion on the screen. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. The Seminoles come to the line with a new set of downs. From the red zone, looking for a space. They're setting up the screen. And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown, Florida State! The screen game is such a big part of this offense. A nice job by the quarterback holding on to it until the last possible second. And the O-line getting downfield, picking up their blocks. They make it about as easy as they can for this running back to find the end zone. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Oh, the offense averts absolute disaster by falling on that fumble. This will likely be the last play of the half. He wants to throw here on second down. They'll knock him down, and that'll take us to halftime. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, Yeoman's work so far today in Boulder. And welcome in to the halftime update. And it'd be easy to say these two offenses are glad we've hit halftime based on their respective performances. It would also be accurate. Turnovers and sacks have told the story so far. And you've got to believe the play calling has been the issue, right? Time to shred those game plans and just get back to basics. 
And with that, let's send it back to the guys more than a mile above sea level at Folsom Field. All right, Kevin, about ready to start the second half here. The Seminoles will kick it off to start the second half. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Maybe adjustments or attitude or attitude adjustments. They've got to find a way to run the ball at least some here in the second half. I do think you said something. All kinds of running room at the 30. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Bucks! You thought they were done. They're not. They're back, baby. Did not take long to get into the end zone. Now let's see if this gets this offense to hit overdrive. Yeah, we may have a situation here. We might have points, more points, and more points. You keep putting drives together like that, that quickly chewed up that much yardage. The defenses are going to have to get something figured out. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. A lot of field in front of them as they open this possession from their own 20. Trying to find his man on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. After the misfire, now on second down. Looking downfield, it's Croman Hope setting up the screen. On the move at the 30. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. They'll throw it on first down. Got it set up on the outside. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Nothing too surprising about seeing the Seminoles being productive in the passing game. Man, we can think back, Reese, to so many great offenses from Florida State, whether it's Charlie Ward or Chris Winkie, whoever it is, the trigger man being really, really good is the start of a great Florida State team. It's first down from the 37-yard line. Well, he was putting up big numbers coming into this one. We knew the quarterback was going to go his way early and often. With that last catch, he's now got over 500 yards receiving on the year. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. On the run, it's Lucas. A six-yard pickup that leaves him with third and four. There's just so much for this defense to do. They've had strong side runs to them. Now the counter. They know that this offense can work in the play action off of all these base runs, too. So much offensive volume this defense needs to worry about at this point. And here comes the field goal unit. And that is no good. And the margin is still seven after the miss, guys. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Touch pass on the run. Got the first down and more. Made a defender miss. Just gashing this defense. A big gainer to the 40-yard line. The Buffaloes come to the line in the hurry-up. The play fake on first down wants to throw. Find his tight end. Just slithered through the tackle when he's got room to run. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Unloads quickly. Got some room headed to the goal line. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, Colorado. That was a lightning fast drive that ends with a touchdown. If you can string a few more drives like that together, man, we might as well get our popcorn out because we're going to get a lot of score. Ready to try the point after. Oh, 
And the extra point was good. No incident there, and we are tied up in the third. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Missouri is getting hammered right now. They are the nail, and that figurative mallet is just pounding them into the ground. What a bad look. They're trailing by 16 to Texas A&M. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business, gentlemen. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Clock kicks across the four-minute mark here in the third. Fires to the big fella. Hard running there. And they'll spot it at the 45. That's good enough for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Sometimes your tight end's a safety valve, and sometimes he's your go-to receiver. And the offense knew right away it was the primary target. It was where he was going with the football, because you know you get a little bit of suck up from those linebackers with the play action, and you feed the big fella. They want to just keep throwing it. Going to try to pop one on the screen. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. And the Seminoles come to the line with a fresh set of downs. I like the running back there on the route and the patience he showed, really setting it up. He got to the defender, was able to put his foot in the ground, get some separation, catch it, and turn up field for a first. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. They're facing a third down. Receivers telling the quarterback what they see. Caught near the sticks. It's Brown. And he's marked down right there, but a good pickup, and it'll be a first down. New set of downs after that completion. He'll come out throwing on first down. And he will wisely throw it to the kid playing the tuba. Like the job by the defense there in coverage. They took every option away from the quarterback. He was outside of the pocket, nowhere to go with it, so they forced the incompletion. And it is slipped out. Well, the offense ought to go buy a lottery ticket because that ball somehow bounced right back to them. They'll keep it. Great job by the defense forcing the fumble, but a bad, unfortunate bounce, and the offense pounces back on Great shot at a field goal from here. You don't want to be reckless and take it off the board, but you got to go for the score. Looking downfield, it's Coleman Hope. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. No signs of any kind of kicker as they'll leave the offense out there to try to move those chains. Trying to pick up the first out of the backfield. Got enough space. And he's got enough for a first down. Now to see if they have enough time to snap it again here in the third. Really good job there. Don't force anything. Take your time. And he finds his man for the first down. Yeah, and I think really good job by seeing the defense. Understand that they're dropping back. They're taking away most things. All right, get the ball to my running back. He can make plays after he catches it. Nice job by the quarterback seeing the situation and where to go with the football. We've swapped sides of the field, and we are ready for the finish as the fourth quarter gets underway. They want to throw it. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. And the D deny them on second and goal. Trying to pound it in. Touchdown, Seminoles! And with that, they move out front here in the fourth. Precision blocking up front. Created the open lane and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, um, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to ex... Slips the tackle, and he's got room. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit him for a first down and much more really good execution. 
execution by this offense. Use the play fake, now to throw. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. After the big first down sack, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Makes the catch. It's Miller. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. And the Buffaloes moving quickly to the line. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. And here comes the punt team. Third and long situation. They try to go screen. I think they were hoping it was going to be a big zone and they could get those offensive linemen down the field, but the defense sniffed it out, forcing the incompletion. This quarterback has been really good today. He's been on top of it, seeing things really, really well. That pass right there put him over the 300 yard mark. That's a pretty good day. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. They'll run this play from the pistol. No screen plays. You really want to sell it, get it to your running back, and get him to the second level. Get him running full head of steam on a safety. And he's got it at the 30. Touchdown, no! And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. With that, the lead nice and comfortable, and they're cruising toward a 4-0 start. That quarterbacks have to do a great job in the pocket, letting routes develop, taking their time. He does, throws the ball down the field, receiver catches it, and then does the rest, takes it in to the end zone for six. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Colorado, 21. The ball bounces through the end zone, and it will be a touchback. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Snags a quick pass on the left. Gets away from one. He's got space. Got a lot of running room. The 20, 10, and the defense couldn't corral him, and he took it all the way. Touchdown, Buffaloes! Oh, Uncle Mo has changed sidelines. Look out, brother. Here's what happens, right? Something happens, get you close in the ball game. The defense needs to come out here, get a stop, get that ball back to the offense. Oh, Moko Mo on your side. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. We'll see what they can do on this drive that starts at the 16-yard line. Going up top on first down. That one comes out hot down the right side. And he'll be forced out of bounds, but not before. Yet another big play in this passing attack. They've crossed midfield at the 45 with a first and 10. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. Got room at the 35. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit him for a first down and much more really good execution by this offense. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in a game like this, right, you still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space, and that is exactly what this offense is doing. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. They've got the screen set up. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. So this offense with an opportunity to put this game in a hammer lock if they can score and bleed the clock. They'll run the screen. Touchdown, Florida State! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. They give themselves a little more cushion as they try to reel off their fourth straight win. He is dialed in. David, remember when we called Jameis Winston's debut? 27 passes, not one hit the ground. The two incompletions were caught out of bounds. This guy's locked in like that. Locked in, dialed in. And when you're compared to Jameis Winston, and by the way, 
I mean, he was in fuego that night. It was awesome to be there. Those are the kind of guys that catapult you to the next level and bring Florida State back. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. A quick strike touchdown up top the last time they had it, Jesse. They'd love to do it again. No doubt. They've got so many playmakers on the perimeter, David. Just find a way to get these guys the ball in space. Uh, and you already started, man. Making that big play, opening up this offense. This quarterback is feeling good about himself. I wouldn't be surprised if they get it right back to him. And the Buffaloes want to pick up the tempo. This guy's gotten off to a good statistical start, guys. With that last completion, he's already now over 1,000 passing yards on the season. And, man, you know he's looking for more. And it's picked off. Taking it the other way. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. It's such a hard time. You know the clock's ticking. You know you're down. You've got to force the ball down the field. But guess what? So does the defense. They knew the vertical routes were coming. They broke on the football, and that does not look good for this ball game. Okay. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute there. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. You got a big lead. Let's just keep plowing it on until they find an answer. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. Went up top on second down. That leaves him needing a yard here on third down. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. The Seminoles come to the line with a new set of downs. They keep attacking through the air. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. And now on second down for this offense. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls into the clock. Now facing a third and long. Looking to throw, it's Coleman Hope. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. And the Knowles will punt it away on fourth down. QBs and receivers on third down, everything has to happen just a split second sooner. You're expecting pressure, the quarterback gets hit, just not on the same page with this target. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Looking down the middle. I don't think that's the way they drew it up. Incomplete. Here comes the offense on second down. Just don't feel like the quarterback's in a rhythm so far. He's had accuracy issues. That last throw was underthrown, but we've seen bad decisions. Trying to force the football in places, it just shouldn't go, and that's why he's already thrown multiple interceptions. You've got a third and manageable, backed up in your own end, but convert here and you get some momentum. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Roll it down to the right. The 10. Slippery slide. Find his way and ran away from the crowd into the end zone. Touchdown, Bucks. Wait, can, can I get the director to give me a replay of that? I want to count the defenders at one Two, three. I mean, there's no way they had 11, right? I mean, that, that is frustrating. Defensively, what are you taught? Like, make them earn it, right? Play, play man, press up on them, make them earn it, make them go the length of the field, don't give up big plays, or just give up big plays and don't have anybody in the camera shot and don't have anybody there to even miss a tackle. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. He's going to take off. Lowers those pads. They finally corral him, but he turns that into a big gain and a first down. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll run it to keep this clock grinding. Oh, no, the ball popped out. And the offense will maintain possession. Son, that ball must be riveted to your ribcage. Timeout called here by the defense. It's their first of the half. Going to the running game. The Knolls are stopped, but not before getting the first down. 
Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Keeping it on the ground on first and goal. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. They've got it down to the three. Now it's second and goal. If they can pay off this third and goal opportunity, man, oh man, those collars start getting a little tight across the way. with the game all but decided this quarterback will take a knee so on fourth down here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot First order of business here. Don't give up a big return. Then the defense just has to keep them out of the end zone. And he passes on the touchback. Here he comes. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. Timeout is called. The clock stopped with 26 seconds left. Offense getting set for first down. These quarters going to give them some space. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Got him downfield. And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. To the line quickly. They'll spike it to save some time. Brings up second down. Offense gets set for second down. He's looking to throw. Pocket starts to collapse. And it's incomplete. He was wild high and wide on that one. Boy, guys, they got off to a great start with that big first play on this drive. But now a couple of incompletions leaves him in a hole. Coming after him. And they got him for the sack. Well, this was an offensive showcase out there today. We thought it would be a high-scoring game, and it certainly delivered. If you love offense, then you love this type of game. Both offenses going up and down the field, seemingly at will. Throwing the ball, running the ball. But, David, I feel like if you're a fan of defense, maybe this wasn't your cup of tea. Ah, uh, more defense optional. You didn't really get too much of that stuff, but, you know, listen... You gotta get a few stops late in the game. You gotta get one, actually just kind of one stop with this many points of it being scored. You got the stop late, that's why you got the dub. That's gonna do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.